Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Europa Universalis 4 Common Sense Polish Union. Let's hop back into it, shall we? In the last episode, we did nothing, let's be honest. <laughs> Sat here and um, let the game ran. We got some text, but that's it. Let's hop back into it. Uh, So, the Papal State is getting fucked over <laughs> because they were stupid. And they uh, took a ton of land from France at once, and now France is broken up into four different pieces, which must, must, and most definitely sucks. I cannot take that legitimacy change, so sorry, uh, we will not be having that. And NASA is now leading the papacy. Okay, good decision. One private minor is now leading the HRA. Good decision. Good decision. Okay. Anyway, uh, recall the guy from Bosnia improved relations with Lithuania. Oh, we can integrate, but I'm not gonna do that because I can just hit the uh, form the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Bohemia declared war on Hungary for reconquest. Yeah, I live the Livonian Order in Milan. So really, this would be the perfect time to to declare for some land. Hmm. Hmm. Um, hmm. Let me see. Let me see. We already have a claim too, so we may want to just put that up to full. Bring the armies down south here. Uh, do that. Do one of those. Do one of those. And uh, get a diplomat back for a second, and let Litho not let, yeah Lithuania declare uh, de deal with the Livonian order. I just said I was gonna wait for tap, but uh, well, let's eat some of Hungary while they're weak. Let's declare for uh, I, I can't pronounce that, but Brandenburg and Sweden will join. Do I want Sweden for this war? Uh, not really. But Brandenburg will do. Declare. Get to the fort. No, just do that to the... Really? Really? Can I do that to there? No, just go there apparently. Let's siege this... Oh, you fucking kidding me. Uh, Let me just siege something else for now. Uh, that kind of sucks that he got to that first, but that's fine. Let's bring this down to speed four, so it's not going so quickly. Let's send the cannons in, please. He has a claim on this, so he will take it if I don't take it first. So let's get troops there. The AI is not afraid to do this. Okay, take this first. Okay, come on, let's do this. I think this was a good war to declare. Uh, should activate these forts too. Nice. Okay, broke the walls here. Nice. Okay. Hey, he already transferred occupation to me. So, nice vassal. Very nice vassal. <sighs> so, basically, what it's asking me to do is to lose the 15% I just got from uh, doing the papal sanction or no no I'll take the stability and lose 20 uh, papal influence go at it go at it please do not care <laughs> about papal influence for now uh, I should raise war taxes we are ahead of tech I do have an I ideas I should be finishing but I think raising war taxes will be more beneficial now and I'm pretty sure the Ottomans are going to declare the war now. Uh, do they have claims? They do. They indeed do. So <laughs> there's no reason for them not to be declaring a war right now. Hey, wait, wait. Just realized. Hungary's our rival. Have I embargoed you yet? Issue embargo. Uh, we can't embargo you when we have a truce. Fair, fair, I guess. And there go the Ottomans. 
thank you for helping me here. Nope, the Ottomans are not in this province. Okay. Nice, I guess. Well, let's just do our sieges and hopefully this goes quickly. Come on. Hungary has a <laughs> no morale army there. I would go and stack wipe that if I could, but I can't, so I'm sad. Oh, someone's going to take care of that for me. Thank you very much. Where, 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 where you think you're going? <laughs> like, you're making stupid decisions here. Let me send that army there. Let's do that. And that maybe. Stupid decisions. Should really send you there. So you can have cannons there. To siege that down, uh, you move on to that province so it can get that sieged. Uh. Combine army up. Nice. So really, if I was to take anything, I would want all of your border provinces, to be honest. And that's only between 1 and 40. I think I'm safe in taking that. 1 and 2 and 54, that's getting a bit iffy. But if I can get that peace treaty, I'd be a happy camper. I'm very happy. Okay, looks like someone is already sieging his capital. Ooh, it sucks, but what can you do? So what can you do? Let me just siege the stuff in the surrounding area. Okay, and then wait for whoever's in the war. Okay, I can peace out now. Let's move there. Siege that down, please. Okay, the Ottomans are going to siege from the south and the siege from the north. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did they get that back? Uh, okay. Guess that made no sense. Uh, the Livonian Order has occupied one province. Okay, congratulations. Want a fucking award? Uh, <laughs> yeah, siege passed for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. I like this very much. Can we please siege? Okay, we're at 56% now. Okay, these one stacks are just annoying. <laughs> okay, where are you gonna go now? That's gonna be a fucking nuisance. It's gonna be a real fucking nuisance. Okay, Gordon Liberty. We get golden liberty until this guy dies, so stability is more expensive. We lose prestige, but we get 10 legitimacy. Or we can do that and have zero legitimacy. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> I think I need some sort of legitimacy for my country. <laughs> like, at least some. Oh my gosh. The sad state of affairs that my country is in. Okay... Okay, got that wiped out. Nice. Now I get to get the war goal, of course. Okay. Come on, siege this quickly. Thank you. Nice. Okay. It looks like the uh, hungry sports are only in the north of this country, so it's very nice. Just have to deal with these two forts and then we're good. Which is very nice for me. Combine up. Okay. Willing to accept my peace treaty? No, you're not because you are foolish. Also, probably because your friend here is still in the war. Which is a stupid decision. Of uh, the Livonian Order. On the Livonian Order side. To still be in this war. Reports are blockaded like I give a fuck. Uh. Okay. Can we please siege down these forts a bit quicker? Tech. Do I want administrative tech now? I get it now. Why not? I mean, I'm about to take a bunch of land. That's probably why not, but. Oh well. You're fabricating claims on my land, which is very upsetting and rude and despicable and disgusting, but. Wipe your nation 
off the face of the plant very easily. So, no problem. Okay, got that sieged. Hey, you want to accept it now? Very nice. So, I want money. I want money and I want humiliate war reparations. Uh, war reparations for me now, but the humiliate would be nice. Um, hopefully, if we siege down your capital, we can do that. So let me send in extra cannons. And it looks like we can pass the national decision. Missionary strength. And less stability costs. I guess I'll take it. Why not, right? Okay. Did you declare war? No. You're at war with Crimea and, Musk and uh, the Ottomans. The Ottomans. Hey, pause. Uh... Okay, our monarch is insane. Administrative guidance. Or administrative guidance. Okay, now lower down our maintenance a bit because we're gonna lose money. Uh god damn it. Okay. Okay, we siege pass. Uh okay, I'm gonna have to mothball some of these forts. <laughs> so a mothball. Mothball and that's good and my fault this one too so we are making some sort of money our war marriage of Austria has en ended but uh, we can get another another royal marriage sorry that I'm slurring my words so much it's kind of uh, ridiculous okay let's send the cannons back to the respectable armies uh, raise war taxes uh, raise war taxes why not uh, oh shit that royal marriage cost me uh, two legitimacy we're at only seven prestige, so this <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot of prestige from this peace treaty. We gain only eleven. Game. Why do you hate me? The game hates me. Yes, it does. Uh, <laughs> okay, one of us is gonna have to peace out first, and I'm hoping it's one of you because I don't want to peace out first. I really want to get my peace treaty. Uh, Okay, the Livonian Order is at war with Muscovy. Man, is that not gonna turn out well for you? Anyway, let me, let me get some money. And then war reparations, you know something. I'm actually, for once, I'm gonna give a province to Lithuania because they deserve it, right? For once, right? Let's do that. Let me, let me clear the offer. Give one can't do that so we're not gonna do that I'm gonna just take the money and the war operations and bye enjoy okay now I should be able to be so hungry really the money is it really the money that's stopping you yes it is okay so he will see this land to me he will be humiliated he will give me 87 ducats I get 11 prestige. I will get 54 power projection. And that is it. Nice. Very nice. So let's unmothball this shit because we don't have the money for it. Also, let's increase autonomy in this land because I ain't dealing with no revolt risk. You were funny if you thought I was going to deal with that shit. By the way, do you have increased current costs? No, you don't. Okay, thank you. Let's reduce that and let me start coring this stuff. It's gonna take a while to core this stuff, but that is fine. That is indeed fine. Are we still losing money? No, we make a decent amount of money. Let's increase our maintenance to full, basically. Let's some boss. Good. We took a decent amount of land. We humiliated Hungary. We have 20 prestige. And 72 power projection, so we get an extra point in each category each month. And while Austria is actually catching up, he's at 80%. Not 80%, 80 points. Which is disgusting. Really disgusting. Okay, we have lost our uh, conquest on Hungary, Cassis Belli. Uh, no wonder, it's not like I just took half of his country. Or. The entire border I used to share with Hungary. 
Okay. Pomerania has joined. I think that happened a while ago. Yeah, I've been on speed five already. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> expecting to sit here really and try to uh, words try to core stuff. Hopefully, at a very quick pace too. Ah, ah sorry. Hmm. We lost our military recruiter. Come on, we can't be doing that now. We are only five years ahead, so I'm going to have to go for a the tech and not the idea again. It sucks, but that's just how it has to be. I choose of Denmark, Norway, and Muscovy has ended. And we're very close to integrating uh, Moldovia. Actually, we get zero points a month, so I'm assuming that's because we have a stuff to core. Core that province. So we have what? A lot of more, a lot more uh, stuff to go. So this is two hundred and nine plus. If I'm doing math right, <laughs> if I'm doing math right, uh, yes, you can get two hundred and nine. So three hundred and nine uh, dip points I must get. So that's that's gonna be interesting. So that I can crawl this land. We are. We lost our uh, spy master. Okay, let's hire another guy. Matua has declared war on Hungary. Everybody's declaring war on Hungary. I love how Hungary's about to fall apart. But Austria, he probably didn't have the mission to in to. He didn't have the decline of Hungary mission, but still, you pick the mission. Bohemia must accept Austrian overlordship over. Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming that the other mission had to be there. I'm assuming the decline of uh, Hungary had to be there too, but then again, who knows, right? Uh, oops, I can core more stuff, my bad. Core the 99 one. Now we just have 210 uh, worth of dipple points to need, or administrative points that I need to get to core stuff. Well, Francis Paper Controller. I love how the solution was not to give the land back to France. It was for Provence to take all that land. I mean, granted, it's his cores. But still, <laughs> that's just... It's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, wow. Did he integrate people or did he just inherit countries? Damn. Burgundy doing very well this game, very good. Uh, don't call me, don't, don't call me in. Sweden, don't call me in. Do I have a choose for Sweden or Muscovy? No, I don't. Uh, we need money. Uh, to be honest, I need prestige. So I'm going to take the prestige. He's going to call me and I guarantee it. Just lost that battle, look. I told you. I uh, told you. <sighs> now... Why wouldn't you go for the war goal? Why would you go? I don't understand game. I'm not gonna lose 25 uh, prestige, so we're definitely gonna fight this war. But send the army to their usual positions. See if we could do something. Hopefully, we can do something. By the way, is Austria still? Is that 90? Put myself at 110. Because I really don't want a 2-2-1. Two, two, I really don't want a fucking 2-2-1. Two, two, I just really don't want a 2-2-1. Two, two, you don't understand. Okay, what's the numbers? In our favor. In our favor. Muscovy's army. We do have a larger army than them. And more map are. So that's also usually a good thing. Um, 6,000 troops here. Okay, now, now he has 23,000 troops in the vicinity. Okay, let me move troops up north because that is what I'm going to want to engage. Our 3-3 three, three versus his 3-2. He got three maneuver though. I have one maneuver and one siege. He has one siege too, so his general overall is a much better general than mine's. Uh, it sucks, but... 
breakers can't be choosers. I guess. <laughs> I guess being the very keyword. Let's move you to Polotsk. Uh, where are you going to Smolensk? Yeah, you better back the fuck out of Smolensk. Really, I'm just defending my land as of this point. Sweden. I'm not co-belligerent, so if you give any of my land away, I promise I will annihilate your country. Ah, okay. I need to improve relations with someone. Oh, Wurzenberg? Why not, Wurzenberg? You may be improved with. Okay. Okay, go back on speed 4, where it doesn't have to be on speed 3. Let's move it to Smolensk. We gained a core on something. Very fucking nice. We can convert it. Uh, okay. May as well attempt. May as well attempt. Okay. We can core this now. Uh, that's gonna cost us two. So decline. I'm sorry, but uh, I cannot do that now. Okay, he's coming to attack. He's stuck in his movement. Uh, we should get there. The 27th he's gonna get there the 18th so we're gonna get there in nine days but anyway with that that's gonna be the end of this episode of europa universalis for common sense polish union thanks for watching see you guys in the next episode